21 years ago, we heard the promise of God to the people of our church to bless them and grow them and to expand in the numbers of people we reach. Here are some personal stories that highlight this journey of promise. Clock is ticking for Fremont family facing a deadline that'll tear them apart. A Russian woman has been ordered to take her son back to Russia and leave her two American daughters behind. My name is Tatiana, and I want to let everybody know um, about what happened um, in my life in the last two years and how God answered my prayers. I have immigrated to United States 15 years ago and I have been waiting for my status papers to be resolved. I was arrested by um, ICE police and um, I was told that I need to be deported. It was difficult for me to pray, it was difficult for me to ask God for help and, it, and I felt like my soul shattered at this very moment. Um, I was put an ankle bracelet on my leg and I was told that as soon as I will get my passport I'll have to go back to Russia. That would mean that I'll have to take my son together with me and he'll have to go to military service in Russia. That would mean that I have to be separated with my two girls who are US citizens. That would mean that uh, I will be barred from coming back to um, United States for another 10 years or maybe longer and that's when a church and a faith of people worked as a magnet and brought me back together in wholesome and people took my story to their very heart they started to donate money to the Deacon's Fund and we went to San Francisco with Pastor Greg and we went to to meet the best lawyers but my situation was so hopeless and that's what we were told that it's hopeless there is no hope for me because the final order of deportation was issued and there is nothing nothing can be done beyond this order if not for for my church, I don't think that I would be able to pull through. Because God is always there, God is always in control, and God is faithful to us, but we cannot see it sometimes when the desperation shatters our life. And if not for church, um, I don't know um, if I would be able to find my hope. And time passed. And government decided in March of this year that all denials of visas and adjustment of status, which applies to my case, which was denied to me, and government decided that all denials were a judicial error, means it was a mistake, which was a major, major prayer answered. It was a big victory in my case because it, pro it proposed, allowed me to step on a solid path to uh, legalization. That was a prayer answered, prayer of many people. So God opened this door, but while we were waiting for that, I think lots of people grew to learn that God does answers our prayers, but He answers in His timing, in the right time, in the right moment. 